So in this week, uh, we discuss IP version 6. We have said that's the Internet Protocol of the future. Last week, we discussed uh, the uh, traditional Internet Protocol, the IP version 4. And now the question arises, how is the transition from IP version 4 to IP version 6, how is this migration can be organized? So this is a big question because it's clear these are two incompatible internet protocols. Incompatibly, uh, they are incompatible only for that case that they have different formats in the data header and they have different address schemes. So the transition from IP version 4 to IP version 6 is necessary, but there is no internet government which can say on 1st January next year we make this transition. Each uh, administrator is responsible for its own network, so we have to see that there is a process, a time where both protocols uh, will run uh, uh, together. We run in one uh, networks, uh, we will have only the IP version 4 protocol, in other networks with more advanced uh, administrators, they have already migrated to IP version 6. So we have to see that there will be a phase that both protocols run uh, uh, in the big internet, uh, run together. If one should forecast uh, about the time that's needed for this transition, it could be that the uh, completion of this is uh, done in 2020, but it could also be that there are a few uh, networks connected to the internet that uh, will run also uh, beyond the time uh, they will use the IP version 4 protocol. Are there possibilities to, uh, of the coexistence of IP version 4 and IP version 6? Yes, there are concepts for such a coexistence. And a very important concept is so-called tunneling. And the idea of this tunneling is that if we have IP version 6 datagrams, and they, these datagrams has to be transported through a network that only runs IP version 4, then what can be done? One can take the IP v6 datagram and put it as load in an IP version 4 datagram and transmit it inside as load of this IP version 4 datagram to the uh, next router uh, who uh, possibly understands IP version 6. So the IP version 6 datagram Datagrams are packed and transported in IP version 4 packets. That is the tunneling. So, uh, for in, in this concept with this tunneling, the IPv6 are only interpreted in IPv6 networks that are networks that uh, speak, that run the IP version 6 network, uh, the IP version 6 protocol. Beside of tunneling, another concept of, uh, which uh, allows the coexistence of IP version 4 and IP version 6, 6 is dual, so-called dual stack implementation. And dual stack implementation uh, means that routers can process IP version 4 uh, protocol as well as IP version 6 uh, protocol. So routers are able to, to recognize, okay, that's an IP version 6 protocol, then they deal it as IP version 6 protocol, or that is an IP version 4 protocol, and then they deal it uh, as an IP version 4 protocol. So in this way, IP version 6 datagrams are interpreted, if uh, uh, required, correctly uh, implemented uh, in IP version 4, and uh, then uh, uh, do it back. What are possible scenarios for the IP version 6 migration? So step one would be that the DNS system, the domain name service system, uh, is extended to be able to deal with IP version 6 addresses. They have a different format, so it's very important uh, that the domain name system uh, can deal with IPv6 addresses. 
In such a possible migration uh, scenario, the next step uh, could be that the end systems and the routers uh, are uh, that, that the routers, the end system routers are prepared uh, to uh, also deal with IPv6 traffic. And this can be done by dual stack implementation. Then the next step is, could be use uh, of the dual stack systems in any places uh, in the internet. And then one can uh, divide the global internet into IPv4 areas or islands and IPv6 areas. And then as soon as all the routers are IPv6 ready, one can restructuring the old IPv4 internet into an IPv6 internet. You see, in many, many places, many, many people uh, have to do something to change the, uh, to migrate the internet from using the IPv4 protocol into the IPv6 protocol. And since there is no central government, there is no central administration of the internet, uh, each of the administrators need to be convinced that he uh, migrates and uh, provides IPv6 infrastructure in its own network. And this will cost uh, uh, time. Does this concept really work? Uh, for this, uh, uh, there were uh, different tests run, not only inside a network, but also worldwide. So there are two worldwide IPv6 days. The first was on July 2011. Uh, the another called World IPv6 Patch Day was on June 6 in 2012. Here worldwide the uh, content provider, the uh, network provider uh, take care and test it whether IPv6 protocol uh, is ready uh, to use in practice and whether uh, it's possible to use this without a big blackout of the internet. What is to say about the IPv6 deployment? And here one has to see whether the operating systems are ready to, uh, to work on the basis uh, of IPv6. So we look through the different operating systems and one has to say operating systems of uh, PCs, of uh, customer systems are ready for IPv6. For example, uh, if we look to the Windows world, then starting with Windows Vista, with Windows 7, IPv6 is enabled even by default. In the other Windows variations, is the, uh, uh, it's an optional, so the uh, administrator can select whether a system is working with IP version 4 or IP version 6. If we look to Unix and Linux systems, then we can say uh, since kernel 2.6, a complete IPv6 support is provided. If we look to the Mac uh, OS, systems and Mac OS 10, uh, starting with uh, version 10.2, uh, is uh, ready for IPv6, for the use of IPv6. And uh, all the Cisco router, they uh, come optional with IPv6 and one can select, administrator can select whether they run with IP version 4 or IP version 6. So the implementation of IP version 6 in our own LAN is no problem. So we in HPI, we run IPv6 already for years. So uh, the administrator are able uh, to, uh, to migrate their local networks. And beyond the own border router, the tunneling mechanism can be used, uh, can be used for uh, this transport of IPv6 uh, uh, of IPv6 uh, versions.